Hi, a lot of people have been asking me uh, on my road to recovery uh, what I was doing to help uh, accelerate my progress. And something I wanted to emphasize um, to, to uh, all those interested and maybe all those suffering from injuries is how important exercise was to my recovery. Uh, and I have uh, two, uh, two explanations as to why um, it is the case. One is that morale-wise, it's just good to get out of the house, move your body around, interact with society, and um, try to feel like you're, you're functioning uh, normally. But the second reason is a physiological explanation. Um, it turns out that there's something called human growth hormone that every person secretes naturally. And human growth hormone, uh, maybe popularly in the news, is associated with people who are trying to, you know, get, uh, get bigger, stronger, and faster uh, by injecting some, you know, synthetic form of it into their body. But the point is, is that human growth hormone is naturally made um, by, by you, by us, by every human being that lives, breathes, and sleeps. Now, the reason I'm emphasizing this hormone is you can get a dose of it in two ways. One, by sleeping and the other by exercise. And the reason human growth hormone is relevant to bone growth and bone healing is that human growth hormone initiates the deposition or the placement of collagen and protein into your bone. Now, maybe traditionally the view of exercise is, hey, I'm, I'm lifting a weight, uh, I'm lifting, I'm working out biceps today, so my biceps are gonna get bigger. But that's not how uh, human growth hormone secretion really works. Working out your biceps lets your brain know that it should release more human growth hormone, okay? And that release of human growth hormone is then systemic. It goes all over the body. Um, yes, it reaches the bicep, but it also reaches your legs. It reaches your bone. And if you're injured and you need to let your body know that it needs to do a little bit more than normal um, to put more collagen there, calcify the bone and get it stronger sooner than later, you need to exercise. So I don't care if you can't actually work out your legs, work out your arms, work out your neck, work out your core, your abs, it doesn't matter. The point is, is that when you do rigorous exercise, you get a second dose of human growth hormone being secreted. So when the doctor says, hey, rest up, you know, we want you to, to do nothing, which I don't know if it's really a traditional view anymore, maybe it's an old view. But when they say, hey, take it easy, you're really shortchanging yourself in your body's ability to heal faster, especially when it comes to bone. Because human growth hormone is secreted, A, when you sleep, and two, when you exercise. And if you're exercising any part of your body, your whole body benefits, including your bone, including um, all the things that go into making uh, that injury of yours heal faster. So just wanted to mention that to you as a point that why maybe exercise that I was doing regularly while I was trying to heal and now as a habit and lifestyle habit might have had a beneficial effect on my ability to heal period uh, from a tough injury.